this is Stampy, and welcome to part number two of the potion challenge. As you can see, Squid has already got two potions, which isn't very good because I have no potions, but I'm about uh, to go into the nether. Uh, in the last episode, if you didn't see it, I got kitted up with all of my armor. I got an iron sword as well, and I got a few materials. And look, look, the nether portal leads us right onto a nether fortress, which is good. So I need to get some blaze powder and some nether war. And it looks like there's a, a bunch of blaze spawners here. So if I go up here, I should hopefully be able to take out some blaze. Oh no, don't fly away. Right, those all, flow, all flew away. Right, like, forget that for now. Let's go get some nether war, and let's go and come back in a minute, because I am getting very hurt. And there's squid. There's squid directly above me. Looks like I've been able to... To, to track him down. Right, I need loads of never wart. So let me grab this and I'm going to put a few more pieces back down just so in case we do need more, we can get more. But to be honest, I want to grab almost as much of this as I can. And uh, let's go and leave just a few bits down to carry on growing. There we go. 24 never wart should be fine. So all I need to do now is get the blaze powder, which will be tough. And uh, magma cream, which shouldn't be too tough. And uh, ghast here, which will once again be very tough. And look, here's some more never wart down here. Might grab a, a few more extra bits. And here we go. Here is a blaze kind of cornered by itself. Let's see if we can take out this blaze. Oh no, it set me on fire. And I think I got some blaze powder though. That is exactly what I wanted. And mushrooms. Mushrooms is something else that I desperately needed. So uh, let me go and grab all of these mushrooms. Uh, there I've got, I've got four mushrooms, which isn't bad. That might be almost exactly how many I need. I might need one or two more. And I can hear, I can hear a blaze. Please give me blaze powder. Please give me blaze powder. No, bad, bad mag um, <laughs> uh, magma cube. Right, let's go and try and track down some more blaze and uh, some more magma cubes then shall we i'm not sure how many i need of those things to be honest and where did squid go i think squid might have just gone uh, straight back through the uh, the portal again so i'm gonna go and get a few more blaze just in case i need some and here we go here's another blaze here and then i also need to get some magma cream and then the the ghast here as well and then i'm gonna be able to leave the uh, the never and then i can start doing some brewing i can go and uh, begin making my first few potions which is something that i desperately uh, need to do and oh i nearly hit the the pigment there that would not have been a good idea but let's try and take out the magma cube if i can i think i am allowed to use my sword and still get magma cream i know with slimes I think to get slime balls, you can't kill them with your sword, I believe. And so, uh, yeah, I'm going to go and take him out with my sword anyway. Though I think the the magma cubes aren't the same. But I can't find anything. I need to find some more magma cubes. And then I think I want to find my way out of the fortress. And then that way I'm going to have a chance to, to track down a few guards. But here we go. Here's a, a slightly bigger magma cube. If I go and take out this guy, surely I'm going to get some blaze powder. Surely I'm going to get some. Well, let me not use my sword just in case that does give me some. I'm not sure if it does make a difference. No, still no blaze powder. I'm not getting very lucky with these guys, am I? And uh, I can't see an obvious way onto the, onto the, the ground. I might actually... Just try and dig my way up. If I just go and break away some of these blocks and then place them back down again, and then hopefully I can just dig my way up to the surface and I might be able to find some ghast up there because ghast are very difficult to take out, especially uh, when you don't have a, a bow and arrow as well. So here we go. I'm up on top. And uh, oh, look, there's some more mushrooms over there. I'm going to go and uh, grab them definitely because that will save me uh, having to go and find some in a cave. And then I think the only really difficult thing for me to get after that is going to be gold, which uh, might be a little bit tough, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm a little bit worried, though, because Squid seemed to, to, to get a move on and was making potions way before me. So <laughs> hopefully he's not getting too far ahead. And let's jump down and try and take out this blaze. I'm getting quite hurt here. Did I get any blaze powder? I got two pieces of blaze powder. I'm not sure how many I need. That might almost be enough. Uh, but let me go and pile my way back up here. And uh, go and get the, the rest of those mushrooms. Because I do need uh, quite a few mushrooms to make uh, all of the, the fermented spider eyes. And I hate <laughs> the sound of those zombie pigments. They're scary growls. Like, they're pretty passive. Like, they only hurt you when you hurt them. But they're still just a bit creepy when they're <laughs> growling all around you. And I'm sure I saw more mushrooms up here somewhere. Have I gone past them? Or, or did I gather them them all up? Uh, actually, there's loads of mushrooms over there. So I'm going to go grab some of them, I guess. Uh, let's just make sure I've got more than enough. And then that way, yeah, I'm not going to... Not going to fall short anywhere. Let's go and jump over here if I can. And uh, go and try and make my way up here. I guess if I try and just dig my way up. So I don't really have uh, many blocks to build with. If I just go and dig up here. And then dig to the right a bit as well. God, it's very dark, isn't it? Let's put it down the torch. There we go. I can actually see what I'm doing now. And go and dig my way up here. And then I need to go ghast hunting while I'm down here. I can't leave without getting a ghast here. Because I don't want to put it off. <laughs> I don't want to put off getting a ghast here. Because it's going to be uh, one of the, the toughest things for me to get. So I want to make sure I've just got one. Then I can tick it off my 
my weird shopping list <laughs> and then I'm going to be set. So let's go and gather up as many mushrooms here as we can. Uh, I think I've probably uh, just about got enough now once I've got this last few uh, batch. And there we go. I'm done for mushrooms. I'm probably done for blaze powder. Um, yeah, blaze powder. So all I need to do now is go and try and find a ghast. It'd be good if I can find one in a more enclosed space uh, because they're sometimes hard to hit when they got uh, loads of room to fly and I'm glad that that was not lava down here. <laughs> I think I can go back the, through this way, I believe. And look, there's a, a few more mushrooms down here. I can't say no, I can't turn them down. <laughs> so let's go and grab then and uh, let's go up this little staircase. We can hop up and see if I can find my way back to the surface. No, right, let's just go and dig my way up here, I guess. I'm actually uh, almost broke my pickaxe here. I might need to uh, to make a new pickaxe while I'm down here. And I've not really seen. I've seen like one blaze, but it was my, and one gas. Sorry, but it was miles away. I want to go and try and track a few down. I don't want to fight all these blaze though. <laughs> I'm so glad I made all of this iron armor. And is this going to be a dead end? Oh, please don't be a dead end. It kind of is a little bit. I can kind of jump up here a little bit though. I've got a bit of dirt on me. Please don't get set on fire again. I go and jump up here. Oh, I'm right back to the uh, the never portal here. No, 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 no. That was dangerous. That was dangerous, right? Turn around, turn around. Oh no, I'm getting so hurt. I'm getting so hurt. Oh no, please don't set me on fire. Please don't set me on fire. Run inside. Woo! <laughs> oh god, I'm getting completely surrounded by all of these blades. Oh look, a magma cube. Get me any magma cream. Ah, oh, no, they're not playing ball today, are they? They're just not playing ball. I want to be very careful here, trying to block off the lava and make my way across to the other side. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything down there. Right, I need to find that ghast. I need to just to find... I want to just get out of this fortress and just find a big open area of the nether because uh, I'm probably going to have more chance uh, of finding a, a ghast in just a big open area rather than these confined tunnels. I mean, <laughs> a ghast isn't going to fit down here, but I still need to get that magma cream. That's, that's probably one of the things that I thought would be uh, one of the easiest things to get uh, while I'm down here in the nether, uh, but it's turning out to be uh, rather difficult. In the last video, I thought I was doing amazing and I got really lucky getting all of those spider eyes and I found the carrots really easily, uh, but yeah, it seems to be getting a, a lot tougher now. And oh no, there's just dead ends everywhere. Where's just like the proper never? Where's just the big open areas? I don't even care if there's lava there. I just want to be in a place where there's a chance of me finding a gas. Oh, is that a gas or is that? I think that might be another blaze I can hear. Yep, it's a blaze. It's stuck in a room though, so it should be easy enough to take out. And there we go. I got a bit more blaze powder and magma cream. Please, please magma cream. Have I managed to pick any up? No, I've not got any magma cream either. Uh, can I go out here anywhere? Oh, it's all just all completely blocked off. Right, let's go back to the nether portal and let's go and have a look around that area and just see if I can find anywhere where it's going to allow me to get out. Or oh, maybe this way? I don't think I've been down this tunnel yet. Let's go and run down here. And I should probably stop jumping so much because I don't have uh, too much food. And oh, is this going to be another dead end? I think it is. It's just another dead end down that way. And I could just dig there, uh, but the chances of me just finding my way to the surface are relatively slim to be honest and I could go down that way but then I need to go past the the lava let's go back and uh, nearer to where the nether portal was and here we go there's a ghast right there oh and a magma cream a magma cube sorry no no magma cream but there's a, 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 a ghast over in this direction all right let's go and push up here and to try and take out this blaze if I can come on one more hit and let's go and take out this one as well oh no he's flying away right forget about that right where did that ghast go he was flying around here somewhere it's a really weird never there's like hardly any just never rack it's just all either open lava or that never fortress there's no like well there's not much just open ground anywhere and where did that where did that ghast go Right, I think maybe I need to go up there somewhere, or maybe over in that direction uh, might be a possibility. But to do that, I'm going to need to get past all of the blaze again and turn left, run away, run away. Please don't shoot me. Please don't set me on fire. Oh, look, I can see a, a magma cube down here somewhere. I might be able to go and take him out. Oh, look, it's a massive one. I got a good chance of getting this guy, but there are going to be blaze spawning right next to me. So I want to do it as quick as I can. Quick, die, 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 die. Please drop magma cream. There we go. I got myself a bit of magma cream. That is something that I needed. I'm going to have to take out this blaze while I'm down here, though. I need something to eat as well because my, my hunger is not going up right now. Oh, no, I'm getting hurt. I'm getting hurt. There's still some, some big magma cubes. Let's go and try and take all of these guys out. I've got to be getting a whole bunch of magma cream from these guys. Surely, surely you've got to drop some more down for me. Can I take them all out? I don't think like hardly any of them are dropping it though. It's really weird. I got I got one piece out of all of that. I only got one piece of magma cream, which uh, <laughs> isn't particularly great. I think I only need one piece though. 
I'm pretty sure I only need it for the, the fire resistance potion. Anyway, I think I kind of want to head in that direction. I think if I go uh, forward and then left, if I can go that way somewhere, I think that's going to lead me to the, the never proper where I got a, a better chance of tracking down a, a gar. So uh, let's go and wander off in this direction. My iron sword is getting really hurt actually as well. So let's go and uh, use my stone sword for now because I don't have uh, any more spare iron. And so once this runs out, I'm going to have completely run out. And this looks relatively promising. Uh, let's go and jump my way up here if I can and uh, let's go and see if I can I can track down some gas. Excuse me Pigman, I have no grief with you. I am just passing by and oop, oh, oop, oh, I guess we found a ghast. I guess we found a ghast. Well, looks like they found me by the sounds of it. <laughs> I know here we go. They're all over the place round here. Right, all I need to do is wait for one to get close enough to me then I can go and try and take it out. I might get my iron sword ready because that might be uh, the only way to take it out. Oh, look, here we go. There's one right down here on the ground. Please don't fly away. Please don't fly away. No, come back, please. It's got like nowhere else to go. There we go. I got it. I got it. And I got a ghast here, I think. Did I get one? I'm pretty sure I saw one fall down. Oh, it didn't burn, did it? It didn't burn. Oh, is there more coming after me? <laughs> I can't see if I got a ghast here or not. I'm sure I managed to pick one up. Oh, no. Did I not get one? Let me look really closely. Uh, no, I don't, I don't. I don't think I got one. I saw it drop one, but I think it went and got set fire, unless it's still lying around here somewhere. No, it got burned. Oh, what a rotten bit of luck. Right, there seems to be ghast all over the place, though, so I should be able to find another one relatively quickly. I can tell that Squid Nugget's been here because there's torches all over the place. And look, this one's, like, stuck in the ground. Let's try and take it out if I can. I used my stone sword. And did it drop a ghast here? I don't know if it did, but I'm set on fire. I'm set on fire. Oh, is there one behind me? There we go. Here's a ghast here. And and I have got it. There we go. So I can use that uh, to make my regeneration potion. <laughs> and I think I'm done. I think I've got everything that I need from the nether. So let's go. Let's go back to the surface. <laughs> let's go and try and relax for a bit, shall we? And let's try and make sure I find the right way back. Is this the way that I came from? Uh, I don't think this nether's too big, so I should be able to find my way back easy enough. And no, I think, I think I've gone the wrong direction this way. I kind of got <laughs> taken over by the battle. And I didn't uh, bother kind of looking where I was supposed to be going. So I think I need to go back this way. And I can let my health go up a little bit as well while I run. Try and dodge past the ghast. <laughs> Spent so long looking for them, and now I find them. I can't get rid of them. They're just all over the place. <laughs> I don't know. I've already got the ghast here. I might as well take this guy out, though, maybe. See if I can get a spare ghast here. Could be a little bit handy. He's coming back down again. They're pretty weak, actually. One, even using a, a stone sword, you're able to, to take them out relatively quickly. And where was the, the Never Fortress? Is this the place I came from? There we go. I think that's it down there. I think this is uh, the way I came back. So let's go back through the Never Portal, and then I'm going to go and start brewing my first few potions. I think all I need left is the uh, is gold, I think, is the final ingredient I need. So Squid might have been quicker uh, making his first potions, but I doubt he's got enough spider eyes yet, and I also doubt that he's... um. Uh, yeah, got the, the gold yet, so uh, I do have a, a decent chance. So let me just hop my way back in here and uh, try and find my way back to the, the nether portal without getting taken out by the ghast or the blaze. Oh, run inside. Oh no, lots of blaze, lots of blaze, lots of blaze. I take them out, take them out, take them out. If I can, take them out, take them out. Oh no, I'm set on fire. Please don't die now. That'd be so annoying. And there goes my iron sword. My iron sword has gone down already. I knew it was coming. <laughs> right, so I've got to only use my stone sword to get out of here. Luckily, I got all of this armor on. If I didn't have this armor, I would have no idea how I'd survive. I think Squid did amazing managing to like live for that long in the nether without all of this armor on because if I didn't have it, I would have had no chance. Anyway, I'm back. And look at Squid. Squid's doing well. Squid's already got four in there. Is he up there brewing? No, I guess he's gone and wandered off somewhere. Maybe uh, he's gone down to a cave to maybe try and find some gold or something. Uh, but anyway... I can get started. I can start actually doing myself some magic. So <laughs> uh, let's go and um, uh, let's go get some bottles of water. Uh, let's go and put these. Uh, let's just go and empty some of the stuff I don't need. Actually, my pockets are getting uh, rather filled up. Let's get rid of this arrow I don't need. Uh, I also don't need these pork chops really. And uh, I can put the potatoes in here as well. So here we go. Let's go and grab uh, a whole bunch of bottles of water. And I can go and put all of these in. And then let's go and put the bottles down there. And then let's go and put the, the never wart in top. So the never wart is going to turn all of these bottles of water into awkward potions. And from the awkward potions, I can make a whole load of different things. So uh, let's make... Um Let's start off by making a regeneration potion, shall we? And uh, that is the one that I use uh, the ghast here to make. And seeing as it was so tough, <laughs> I feel like I kind of want to do that straight away. So let's go and uh, take these two out so we can save them. And uh, go and put the ghast here in. Uh, so that's going to start brewing. And while that's going, I'm going to put down my furnace and uh, start the rest of my iron smelting. And uh, then that way uh, I can go and make myself another sword before I go back down 
uh, into the mine. So here we go. I'm about to, hopefully, if I've done this right, have a regeneration potion. Is it going to work? Please work, please work, please work. There we go, regeneration potion. So let's go and put my awkward potion back here. And uh, what else can we make? Let's do the let's do the fire resistance potion. So I need the magma cream uh, in order to make that. And then let's do a, a swiftness potion. And to do a swiftness potion, I need sugar. And uh, have I got my sugar cane on me or is that still in the chest? Here we go, let's go grab this sugar cane and uh, let's make it into... Oop, <laughs> I didn't mean to fall down my ladder there. Yeah, let's go and make that into... Um, uh, into some sugar and then we can make that into a swiftness potion once this one's finished so here's my uh, fire resistance uh, let's go put that awkward potion in and uh, let's go put in the sugar which is where did i put my sugar is that sugar there we go it looks like gunpowder so that's going to be my um swiftness one and so while that's brewing i might go and place down my other glorious creations in their correct places and so regeneration is here and then fire resistance is there there we go so squid looked like he was miles ahead but i've almost immediately uh, been able to to catch up with him so what else do i need to make let's go and have a another quick look oh poison oh, i could try and make some I could try making some fermented spider eyes would be quite good. Uh, so let me go and uh, have I got all my spider eyes on me and my mushrooms and sugar and things? Yeah, so let's go and make some more sugar if I can. And let's go and try and make a whole load of fermented spider eyes. And I think that's them there. Yeah, there we go. Look how icky they are. There we go. I managed to make five fermented spider eyes, but then I ran out of uh, sugar and uh, mushrooms. I think I need brown mushrooms, actually. Do I need brown mushrooms? I don't know if the you can actually use the red mushrooms, which is a, a little bit annoying. Uh, but anyway, that doesn't matter. I've managed to get my oh <laughs> fell down my hole again uh, so I've managed to get my swiftness potion here and uh, let's go and uh, what do I need the fermented spider eyes for so I've got a list ahead of me uh, so I can see what I need let's make a poison potion uh, which is actually uh, just never warp and then a normal spider eye so first I'm going to need to go and make uh, myself some more awkward potions I think you pretty much always uh, need to start off with an awkward potion so let's go and put some oh no get my next one in quick get my next bottle of water in quick before it's made there we go so I'm making three awkward potions and then to make a uh, a poison potion all I need to do is just put a normal spider eye in so uh, I guess I'm going to go and make that one next uh, so once this is finished brewing I can go and grab my new free awkward potions while well, I leave one in there but I grab these two and if I go and just put a normal spider eye in that should hopefully uh, make a, a poison potion uh, to make night vision I need the golden carrot so I can't make that yet uh, what else can I make oh I can do a, a strength potion uh, which is the one that I needed blaze powder for and so I'm going to go and take my I, um... I'm going to take this potion, the poison one, and then I'm going to go and put another awkward potion in and then put in the blaze powder, uh, which will make my strength potion. So awkward goes there and then blaze powder goes there. That's going to make that one. And so while that's brewing, I'm once again going to hop downstairs and put in the, the rest of my potions. I'm doing well here, actually. I'm actually, I've, all, I've pretty much caught up with Squid, maybe uh, even taken over him already. So <laughs> all is not lost. If you had given up hope on me, hopefully I've managed to, to put a bit of that back. So uh, that's the, the swift, oh no, no, the wrong one. That's the the swiftness. Well, it's called a a speed potion on here, uh, but it is still the the same as a as a swiftness. So let's go and uh, put that one down there. What else do we need to make? I need to make harming slowness and weakness. Let's try and make some of the 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 baddie ones, the ones that hurt people. Uh, so to make weakness. I believe all I need to do is put in a, uh, a bottle of water and then put in a fermented spider eye, I believe. I don't think I need to make that one into an awkward potion. So let's go and put in a fermented spider eye. And hopefully, there we go. That should hopefully make us uh, a weakness potion. And uh, then how do I make the, uh, how do I make a slowness potion? So slowness is never wore uh, sugar and uh, glowstone. Oh, no, no, it's never wore sugar, then fermented spider eye. Uh, so I need to do another awkward potion for this one. So I'll grab the water bottle, uh, put in the, uh, and I need to put in an awkward potion, which is this one here. And so I then need to go and put in sugar first. And do I have any more sugar left? I'm not sure. I think I used up all of my sugar making these fermented spider eyes, but that doesn't matter. I think there's plenty of sugar cane around the place, and so I can go and just go and grab some from somewhere nearby. Is there any more over there? Uh, I, I remember seeing some around the place, so I should be able to grab some more relatively quickly. So this is strength. I can put strength in there. And then do I have any more? Yep, I got my uh, weakness, uh, which I can put there. And uh, let's go and try and find some more sugar cane. Can you see any around here? I remember seeing some relatively close by. Uh, I think most of it has been stolen by Squid Nugget. So <laughs> I think if I wander in this direction for a little bit, uh, I think I remember seeing some over there. I remember I pretty much grabbed all of it, though. So <laughs> that was probably a, a bad idea in the long run. But uh, I think I wasted 
uh, some of the the sugar uh, making too many um uh, fermented spider eyes i think i made more than i needed but uh, there's got to be sugar around here you get sugar cane almost all over the place so i should hopefully uh, very easily be able to run into some and i've not seen squid nugget in a very long time i reckon he must be digging down uh, trying to find the gold either that or wandering around trying to find where the the village is let's look on the map actually oh he's gone in a different direction to where i went and so there's a good chance he hasn't found that that village yet, which is uh, useful for me, because <laughs> that means he wouldn't have been able to, to get the carrots yet. Um, I can't find any sugar cane around here, though. I'm sure there were some around here. Right, what I might do then, so I might go back home and call that, uh, have a break from my brewing. I might go and grab that iron, uh, which I left in the furnace and probably should have <laughs> uh, carried with me anyway. And uh, then I'm going to go down into a cave and try and find the gold, because once I have the gold, uh, then I have got absolutely everything that I need. So, uh, hopefully Hopefully on my way I am going to find some more sugar cane but uh, apart from that I am doing uh, pretty well so uh, let's just wander off let's wander off in maybe that direction I think that is a, a direction that neither of us have gone in actually maybe if I go that direction maybe uh, neither of us have headed in that direction yet so uh, there's a good chance there's going to be a cave that uh, none of us have been in so let me go uh, hop back upstairs I think I had a, a potion that was still brewing uh, so I'm going to go grab that then I'm going to set off again on another adventure and go and try and find myself some more gold so what have I got going in here this is my Oh, there's there's nothing in there. Or was it was it uh, that was that what I was trying to do? I can't remember what I was trying to do now. <laughs> oh dear. Well, let's just go and empty out a lot of my things here, just so in case I do die, and uh, then it's all going to be safe here. Let's go and put a few more carrots in there, uh, just so they're safe. Uh, I should have enough food. Let's put my bottles of water in there. I don't really need them on me. I'll take that in case I need to build something. And uh, let's take the rest of my iron as well. And uh, let's go and make myself uh, a new iron sword. And I'm going to make myself uh, an iron pickaxe as well, just because I have uh, quite a lot of spare iron. And here we go. Let's go set off and try and find some gold. Sadly, though, uh, we have just about uh, run out of time on this episode here. And is this doing anything? I think it's just made a weakness potion. I can't remember if I'd already made that one or not. Let me just go and see if I've made two weakness potions. <laughs> I think I might have made one for squid as well rather than just me, which isn't what I was trying to do. Is there a weakness one? Oh, yeah, I already had made a weakness potion. Oh, well, let's try and trick him and put... Actually, no, I can't try and do that. Has he done a weakness one yet? Oh, he hasn't. He hasn't. All right, let's just make sure I put this somewhere where he's not going to find it. Let's just carry it with me. Uh, Anyway, as I was saying, we have just about run out of time in this episode here, so I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!